What's going on guys? I am Jace Machine. We're playing Star Maid today here on the Star Squadron server. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. In fact, starting right here, well I need to have some sort of nice reception area. So this is a very subdued, very basic sort of thing. We're using the um the uh what are these? The, the beacon infused circuits? And then we have, of course, like those the cool tetras or whatever these blocks are called. Still not sure what all the names of things are. But that's okay. We don't have to worry about that. We are here to walk around and check out stuff. So this is a nice sort of uh, glassed in area. I turned on the procedural background in case you're wondering why there's this ominous baby puke green pea soup out there and honestly I think it's awesome and that shape up there that we're looking at I think it looks like an alien face of some sort oh, I'm looking down at you whatever all right so uh, yeah we can extend this out to different areas but right now it's just glassed in um, just basic symmetry stuff oh oh yeah yeah what's this this here is something new I wanted to show you as well it's my new shipyard not quite finished yet but you're gonna see that we've made some changes this here is right in the center of our place and in fact let's save some time by uh, going this way with the, the build block I've added these really awesome windows in with these doors and uh, there is a project coming up that's going to involve that that's some basic setup for that but yeah check this out here we got the glassed in area why don't you have a great view of this thing? And this is my shipyard. Everybody I'd seen before who had built their shipyards, they built their computer and then they had a pole immediately in the middle going straight up. And that ob obstructed my view. And I thought, well, let's just have this great big viewport area here. Uh, but this is awesome. We got the ship computer here. All right, here I am in person. Um, I made this yellow because I wanted to go with that yellow construction theme. And you can sit here at the computer and you can load in your programs. Let's see here. Actually, where are my ship designs? I left them in the chest over here, I believe. Yes. put in the ghost for example we're going to take that blueprint and so we got the blueprint so we got the blueprint right from out here you can download your blue blueprints buy a blueprint and it'll give it into your inventory so that's one way of doing it you have to do that near a shop this happens to have a shop module built into it here at my station so hooray for that so you take your blueprint and you put it in to your factory here, your factory computer. And then um, what would you do is you're gonna place the order and it's gonna pull up a new screen, your order screen. You're gonna create a new design from a blueprint. No? Yes, create design from a blueprint right here. And if it's the ghost, so yeah, let's do this. Ghost design. And we have a different object now. This is also loaded, so let's go take a look at what we have. We have the ghost, and uh, I'll hop into this build block. What is happening here? Something is flying away. Try hard. Okay. That's weird. It appears <laughs> that someone brought their ship and did not dock it. <laughs> not my fault. That's part of the defense of this area. If it is not, if it's not tied down, 
it belongs to the wormhole. Goodbye, Doc Tryhard. So yeah, check this out. This is the holographic version of the uh, the ghost. And this thing is actually a solid hologram. It's kind of like I don't know, like the holodeck. So if you were to able to board it as an astronaut, you can actually go check it out. So I'm going to illustrate that real quick and also show you another feature. Oh, it's so bright. But we have an exterior deck here, and right here I have rails set up. We're going to have a uh, basically a rampway that reaches out and allows people to walk over and get into ships, or at least have much better access to the ships. But it works just like you normally would. You can even enter the gravity, which is kind of crazy. Um, we're not going to do that, and we're just going to go and check it out. Got the core, and of course the core block um, is where the uh, the core anchor is in the shipyard. So let's remove this ship real quick, and I'll show you what that is. All right. So with your ship design, don't do anything too strenuous on it. Um, you can right click on it to view and you can unload it from here. So we're just going to unload this ship. Wait and give it time to do its thing. Otherwise it'll freeze up and you'll have a ship stuck there that you can't unload. It's weird. It's still, still glitchy, but you see that right there? This is like the anchor block. And this arrow, of course, indicates the direction that the ship will be facing. And that is where the core block uh, matches up to. So even though they've recently made this change where the ship's center of mass is based on the ship itself, the core block can be anywhere inside the ship, but now this sort of goes back in the, and, and becomes an issue. Only because of, uh, I will show you how it becomes an issue. All right, so let's load, uh, not the ghost. We're gonna load the uh, blueprint. And we're going to place an order and make a design. Simply titled Outrider. And this is going to auto load it. Okay, so now we know that the core block anchor is right in the center, right? But as you can see, this goes completely off to the side. In fact, it is only one block away from not being able to fit, because this is the next part I'm about to show you. To illustrate it best, we're going to reach down to our computer. We're going to select it with the C button, as we do to collect computers, or to select the computers and everything that's attached to them. Now, I think, if you look here, see how the core is selected now? And that is because that is the location of that core block. Um, but not only that, we have a lot more selected, and that's these guys here. And these determine the area that you're able to build your uh, ships in. Um, you can put them at 50 blocks apart, which is what I did here. These guys are 50 blocks apart from each other. And it doesn't seem that putting blocks on the outside of them in any way will stop you from being able to build there. The only thing it does do is it hinders, um, it'll, you know, it, it can hinder what you have inside. If it was a little bit closer, for example, one more block and that got in the way, it'd probably delete the blocks or something. I'm not sure. Tests. You can have future tests. But yeah, um, basically, as you can see, we have it going in a zigzag pattern, and that just goes with everything else that's in Star Made, where things are on an angle with each other, they are not attached to each other. That's how the weapons work, you can get your different sets of weapons firing, your salvage arrays by doing checkerboards and stuff. Um, now if you have blocks that are touching side by side, they're part of the same group, and act as a single unit, basically. So the other thing I wanted to do is change up what I've been seeing. Everybody has been doing them sideways, and 
I went online to do some searches, right? Because I follow Star Wars. I'm not that big of a Star Trek fan. I respect it, but I don't really... I'm not really, like, well... Um, well informed on Star Trek uh, technologies and stuff. So I was looking up some ship docks, and if you look up Google ship docks, you're going to find a lot of stuff that looks vaguely familiar in this sort of configuration, this upside down U. And so that's what I went with. I like it. And of course, we got some beacons. And I got some beacon lights around it as well, because I wanted it to be well lit. Uh, let's go get rid of this outrider. Outright. Uh, outrider. This is that. Right click, and we're gonna unload it. It's responsible. It's the responsible thing to do. Um, and that basically, this block, of course, acts as a, as a ship dock, and it'll hold your ship there. And then you add stuff to these chests. These chests are also connected uh, to the computer here. They were. They don't seem to be connected anymore. Interesting. Of course, just to connect them, you just have to, to be, um, be all that you can be. But yeah, it's just a simple little, simple little console. I wanted to again go with a lot of wide open space, uh, mixture of different materials here. Again, we're building this entirely in, in survival mode and. So, I ran out of various stuff. Like, we have yellow hull here, but there's other bits that are not. It's like the it's like the non-standard. It's the next step up that I was making out of the yellow hull, but I ran out of the, eh, you know. My factories apparently need to be upgraded, and so that might be occurring sometime in the future uh, with some assistance. And so, if we can improve upon my factories, I'll be very, very pleased. Because, you know... I'm all about learning more about this game myself, and, um, you know, that's, uh, that's that. This door here, which will be a door, is going to end up getting you down onto that platform, um, because that's a cargo ship, um, drop area, obviously, and I can't wait, can't wait to show you what I have in store for this section. That's going to probably start next episode. Because this episode right now is basically just a let's get caught up on the stuff that I've been doing off camera. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, off camera. Basically, I was recording this and then I accidentally dropped my footage um, down the recycle tray. Yeah, it, it's gone. So, I... That's okay. Was it that interesting to watch? I don't know. It's just as interesting to see what it looks like now, I suppose. Uh, we got a lot of shields in it. A decent amount of shields, and uh, it's got power enough to run itself. And uh, yeah, so here again, we're back here. And um, so far, so good. I think that pretty much catches us up. Oh, one more, one more touch right here. I fixed these. Put the great, uh, the great um, railings in. And because of the lighting right below, it shoots the light up through here. Makes this much brighter than it was before. Much brighter. I want to make a new Millennium Falcon sometime in the near future. Since the game has been updated, I don't want my core back here. The reason the core was placed specifically at this spot in the ship was because this is where um, the books say is the pivot point for the Millennium Falcon. Which is right here. It's not the middle, but it's right behind there. And if you watch the movies, uh, as they get you know cooler and cooler in the technology for doing it, I would have to agree. This is something I didn't show off the last time, really. But this is a dock that has a permission module built into it. And, um, basically, it's just basically a ship, its own spaceship, but it's supposed to be able to adapt to any of my other ships, so if you have a big ship that can't dock, then I can stick it to the outside here, and that's what we did with uh, Gmodism on his visit. I made sure to make it big enough, and then we docked it here, and that's just in case I want to have company over. <laughs> So 
So yeah, the tryhard. Who owns the tryhard? Goodbye, tryhard. Goodbye. We, l we love you, tryhard. One other thing that we've changed here is uh, well, we had a, a couch for viewing out here, but things have changed a little bit. We uh, we now have a hallway that runs down here, and it's not really dark and it's incomplete, so we're going to leave the glass in place. But we have more plans in store for this little space station, black hole space. Shut all the doors. Also, I'm sure you've noticed some other changes. We have our emissions turned on. So that means our computers finally glow. Thank you guys for making this a thing. This is something that I've been wanting for a while. They look fantastic. All sorts of blocks have these cool little uh, emissions. Some of the blocks, like these guys, look, they, they, actually, they actually glow. on their own. Sort of hard to see with the light on. With the lights on. See how cool that is? Look at that. They have their own glowing glow of goodness glowing. Uh. Alrighty guys. I'm going to wrap it up right here today. Um, today was mostly like I said just to show you what I've been up to. Sorry about the loss of some footage, but, um, you know, it is what it is. We got to see what I did afterwards. If you guys have any questions about shipyards, ask them in the, uh, the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And if, uh, if you have any ideas about different sections and modules I should add uh, to this space station, also let me know in the comments section. I will put them on my master list, and we will work through them. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you tuning in to watch me play some Star Maid. I hope you were able to learn something today. And if you didn't, I hope you were at least entertained. And I will see you in the next episode of Star Maid. 